Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an anonymous email spammer and spoofer, which we're going to be creating an API form which we're going to connect to via a program. But you can actually make this into a web version and have it running on a website. But maybe I'll make that for another video in the future. But this one we're going to create some sort of API which we can connect to and send emails that way. Uh, so we are going to be using a PHP file to handle the mailing and we're going to be connecting to that file uh, on, this, on a server. So let's get started with this. We are going to create a PHP file so we just need to quickly let this know that it's a PHP file. And inside here this script will be pretty basic. We just want to grab a few things from the link and send an email. Uh, so we want to actually have something called the target and this will be equal to uh, underscore get in capitals and we can call that target now that's just going to grab things from our link which we're going to be using um, to execute this file uh, so we've got the target that's who we want to send the email to next we want to have the subject of the email and that will be equal to the same thing get but this time inside here it will be subject uh, we want to do the same thing for the actual message of the email and that will be just message and then we want to have something or something that will store the email that we want to pretend to be so let's call this sender and that will be equal to get and we can call that sender and then also we want one of the final things, the amount, and this will be how many times we actually want to send an email to this person. Uh, so that one will be amount. And actually one more final thing would be the headers. That will basically uh, be the header of the email and that will let it know that it's been sent by this person which isn't really that person but uh, it's the spoofer. So we can call that headers and that will be equal to not a get this time that's going to be equal to a bit of text and that will be from and we can use the sender variable that we had up there sender so what that's going to do is the email is going to say from sender and sender is obviously going to be whatever you want to pretend to be so that will be like from me for example so that, that's all we want to grab from the link um, and now all we want to do is actually send the email using this information but we're going to be having it inside a for loop just because we can select how many times or give it a number of times we want it to execute uh, because we have in spammer so we can have something in there called i and that will be for i is equal to one um, i is going to be more than or equal to and then this is where we'd have some sort of number or how many times we'd want to execute or send uh, in this case we called it amount so let's just call this in here amount and then we want to increment the number each time so we can say i plus plus now let's just get two curly brackets and inside here we just want to send the mail uh, we can use mail for the built-in php function and this takes a couple of parameters, one being the target, so the email we're sending to. Uh, then it also needs the subject of the message, which obviously we created up there too. And it also needs the actual message itself. And then it also needs the headers, like so. And if we close that off, that will be the basic script. But what we want to do is quickly create an echo uh, so we can display a bit of text, which will be displaying in our uh, displayed in our tool so inside here we can just say something along the lines of we've sent the mail or successfully sent uh, because we got numbers we can use that so we can say amount successfully sent and whatever the amount is email or emails um, to and we can just say the target and that will be the end of that. So if we save that to the desktop and let's just make sure this is a PHP file. 
PHP hypertext, and let's just call that uh, spam and save that. Just make sure everything's correct. Mm, looks like it. So if we quickly go to our server, you'll just want to upload this file to your server. This is a web server, by the way, so for those who don't know. Um, I'm using Hostinger, um, but there's various as various others that you can use. Uh, so what we want to do now is uh, go into our project and create a few things. So uh, first of all, let's just quickly look what this is going to require. So if we quickly go to our link, uh, I have it called storefront.hold and we called it spam.php question mark and we got a few things. So first of all, we've got the target and that will be equal to Actually, let me just show you an example. So I've got a temporary mail here to show you that this works. Um, so let's put the, the target is going to be this email. And then we've got the subject, which will be, uh, let's just call this test. And then we've got the and message is going to be equal to uh, testing. Then we've also got the amount of times you want to send it so amount is equal to let's say we'll send it three times and then we've got the uh, who we want to pretend to be or who the emails apparently coming from so let's just say test at gmail.com and that should be good let's press enter see what happens so we've successfully sent three emails to this email so let's quickly go ahead and check this mail refresh so as you can see We've got three emails here, test, which is what we called it. So we can click one of these and it just says testing. And it says from, actually doesn't say our message. Did I call that the right thing? Oh, so, no, I didn't. I put, uh, it, I was meant to put and sender is equal to the email. So if I do that again, refresh, uh, let, me, let me go back to the list. You should see now it's from, yeah, so it's from test at gmail.com. So you can hopefully see that. So that's all working, that's all good. So now we want to create the program for this. So we're going to have a button to actually send it. And then we want a few text boxes in here. So let me just see. So we need one for the email we're sending to. We need another one for the subject. We also need another one for the actual message. We need one more for the amount of times we want to send the message. And we also need one more for who we want to pretend to be. And then this is the button to send. So let me just quickly rename this to send email. Uh, obviously, you'd want to make this a little bit better and display what each line does. But for the purpose of this and the time consumed, I'm going to quickly go ahead and do this. So what we're going to be using is a web client. And we're going to connect to or send a request to that file we just made. And use the text boxes as placeholders for each part of the link to complete it. So let's just quickly create the web client. We can say dim w client w client as new system dot net dot web client. Now inside here we can say w client dot download string and then we want to actually if we just grab our link that we created and paste that in there like that this is the completed link this is what the completed link will look like except we don't want it to be preset to this each time so we've got our target instead of sending it to this uh, temporary email we want to remove that and we want to split the string in two and we want to use two pluses so now the string split into two inside these pluses we can use textbox one dot text because textbox one text contains the email so that will fill in the target and then we've got the subject which obviously we want to delete the test which was our subject split it again using two like so and inside here we want to use textbox two dot text this time and then we want to just do the same for the rest so we've got message we'll delete that message split it in two like that and this will be text box free uh, yeah text box free dot text this time uh, so two more to go we've got the amount here which is free delete free split it again 
and this will be text box four dot text. And then the final one, except we don't have to split it this time. We can leave it the last uh, speech mark here at the end of sender, and we just want one plus, and that will be text box five dot text. Now because we've got, we made a message to let us know what's going on when it's complete. We can store this to a string, so we can say dim uh, string as a string, and that'll be equal to that. And then once that's complete, we can go down and say uh, message box dot show and string to an error. Maybe I'll just call it result and we want to display result. So once we've connected to our link and completed that all out, it's going to show this message in a message box. So let's quickly go ahead and run that. So the first line is the email we want to send to. So that, let's say, let's quickly copy that because we want to send to this email real quick, uh, like that. And then the subject, I'll just put subject, the message will be YouTube, uh, YouTube video. Uh, the times will send it five times, and we want to be Joe at gmail.com this time. So we'll send the email. Now we've got a message box and successfully sent five emails to this email. Okay. Now if we look, if we close the program, if we look, we've got five emails by Joe at gmail.com saying YouTube video. So that is it. That's complete. Um, that is really all there is to it. The, all you'd want to do is go into here, label it, say, just put, put a label there saying, uh, let me just quickly show you if you are completely new to this, you'd get a label out, double click it, put that to the side there and put target like that. Put that there and you'll do the same for all of those so you know what they are. And that'll be that. You can make this design look pretty or whatever. And you can also have web versions using websites, which, like I said at the start, I might possibly show in a next video. Um, but, yeah, other than that, that's really it. It is fairly simple. Um, I might leave the scripts in the description, um, depending on if I remember. But here it is again. Um, it is fairly straightforward. But for those who are confused, I will probably leave it in the description for you. Uh, so that's all there is. Um, if you did like the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.